Good evening, tips. Here's Ranger Dave coming at you from almost 7,000 feet of elevation here outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's December. It's a few weeks before Christmas. It's cold. The days are short. We have a little snow at higher elevations. Really tough to get outside and enjoy it. We're still trying to get it done, but tonight I'm going to bring you a hike from over the summer with a little bit of winter twist. Just bear with me. It's Palmer Reservoir outside of Monument, Colorado. We also have a Monument Colorado beer, so we have Devil's Head Rail Red Ale, ah, can't talk, uh, from Pikes Peak Brewing, also out of Monument Colorado. Um, sit back, relax, I won't say pop open a cold one, get, get some hot chocolate, boy, enjoy, look at these Look at these skin tones, I got a new light in here uh, for production, I'm looking good, let's get to work. Well, good morning. We are at Palmer Reservoir Trailhead, actually about two tenths of a mile away. Limited parking here and it's really busy on the weekends. So we parked near the tennis courts to play tennis. Um, it says tennis parking only. It's been a kind of an ongoing issue for a while. You want to get here early if you're going to hike. There were some very lovely hikers who told us they were parked there for about an hour and a half. Didn't, didn't have an issue. Uh, they they want people to park up at a baseball diamond, but that's another half mile away. So we're going to chance it. Looks like there's lots of people here. But in any event, we're already starting our walk up. Um, it gets steep in a little bit, so enjoy the scenery. And then at the top, a little Devil's Head Red Ale from Pikes Peak Brewing. Can't wait. Can't wait, rather. So just enjoy the scenery and enjoy the hike. Well, made it to the reservoir. Um, it is beautiful over here, not just in scenery, but temperature. Um, the, uh, the breeze off the water um, kind of cooled things off a little bit, but otherwise you can see behind me, it's just, the scenery is just beautiful. The water is really clear. You can see down pretty far. A lot of people out as well. Um, people fishing, just going for hikes, trying to enjoy the, the last month of, of true summer here in Colorado. Um, but it's just a beautiful day to be out here and, and hiking. Um, and it was fairly steep up. It, you know, we, we gained a little over 700 feet of elevation. It's warm out, but that's good. Nice weekend workout. Now to, uh, you know, since we burned a few hundred calories on the hike, it's time to drink a few hundred calories with our Pikes Peak Devil's Head Red Ale. I'm really gonna enjoy this. Um, it's, a, it's a local brewery over uh, in Monument. In fact, on the way back, we might stop there. I saw that they were going to be open at noon, and I've, I've noticed that sometimes they have events. So don't know what we're getting into there, but uh, we're going to possibly check it out. Um, they have a few different offerings that you can find fairly easily around here. Um, they have a few IPAs, a Belgium Ale, um, just, uh, just a good uh, assortment of, uh, of beer. A few flies out. That's great. Um, and I, I really enjoy most of their offerings. I'll say most of them. This is probably one of my favorites, Devil's Head Red Ale. So let's crack it open and uh, let's take a drink. A 
little foamage from uh, the hike up. That's okay. It's pretty good. So it's a nice mix of malt and caramel uh, tastes that you would expect in a nail. It's got a little hop to it. It's, it's, it's got some hops. I think they use Centennial hops. Certainly tastes like it. Could be wrong. I'll include that in the notes. But uh, certainly tastes like that. And it's just a, a good solid beer. This isn't, a, an, I would say, an easy going beer. Um, but it's, it's, it's smooth for what it is, especially at 7.3% alcohol. Um, really smooth, really enjoyable. Kind of a, a little more of a heavier ale. Um, but it's, it's great to be able to, to enjoy a, a local beer here on this, this beautiful local hike. And uh, enjoying the water. And just enjoying living life long, loose, and full of juice. It's okay. Sure? It's okay. You want to be in the video? Sure. <laughs> can I wave as we go back? Yeah, you can. Hey, can you say living life long, loose, and full of juice for my blog? Living life long, loose, and what? Full of juice. And full of juice. Yeah. Perfect. For your blog. <laughs> for your blog. Thanks. Okay, that's good. You too. Already getting fans. Already getting fans up here. Made it to Pikes Peak uh, Brewing. It is a really neat place. It's pretty busy, uh, pretty busy here. It looks like they have some great food. Of course, some some great beer. Had to order a Devil's Head Red Ale. My daughter is uh, crawling around the table outside, which means we're not going to stay for that long. Anyway, it's really neat that they that they're here so close to the trail. A lot of different offerings, a lot of different beers. They have some seasonals that I really want to try. I might hey, might come back tomorrow. You never know. Anyway, we're going to enjoy our time out here. Maybe some pretzel bites. Um, and live life long, loose, and full of juice. Ah, it's like drinking straight from the udder when you're, you're at the brewery. So now that we're back from the trail, let's talk a little bit about the trail and our drink choice for the evening. But before we do that, if you like what you see, smash that like and subscribe button. If you like recommendations on beer, whiskey, liquor, trails, ridiculousness, um, come join us. We're going to have a lot of great content to finish out 2022, but really gearing up for 2023. Also, make sure you check out the description. We'll leave pertinent information down there about the trail and the beverage this evening. Let's talk a little bit about Palmer Reservoir Trail outside of Monument, Colorado. Uh, so the overall trail is 4.1 miles long. You gain about 736 feet of elevation uh, per all trails. It's rated as moderate. I would say moderate's fair. I think at certain parts of this, it gets a little steep, and you have to realize it's basically a constant up all the way through the trail. The one thing I'll mention about this, and this is that winter twist. I've hiked this all four seasons. I think it's a great trail for all four seasons. During the winter time, th there's a lot of ice on the trail. Make sure you bring micro spikes. There's also a lot of people ice fishing on the lake. I think that's super neat. Um, if that's your thing, you should certainly check out this trail. Not only is it beautiful, but hey, you can get a little fishing in uh, during the winter time. I think the other caution I would give you is parking is a little bit of an issue. I think we saw this during the video. Um, it used to be just open parking. Now you have to pay for it right at the trailhead. You can park a little ways down. Um, me personally, I wouldn't pay. Hey, you're there to hike. Hike another half a mile at most in um, and park for free. Just be aware of the situation down there. I would also look at all trails at the reviews for parking. I think that might be really helpful. Our featured beverage for the evening is Devil's Head Red Ale from Pikes Peak Brewing out of Monument, Colorado. Um, really solid offering. Really love that red ale. It's a great fall, wintertime type beer, in my opinion, if you want something like an ale. 
Um, Pike's Peak Brewing is fairly well known throughout Colorado Springs, up through Denver. I see them in a lot of liquor stores. They have a handful of offerings I think are pretty well known. I think the real gem here is if you're passing through is stop at the tasting room. They had a lot of seasonals when I stopped in. Um, really neat place to, to grab a beer. They have food trucks, kind of the, the usual thing. And it's just right off of the highway. Um, really like their stuff overall and just think it's worth a stop. So thank you for joining us tonight. In the coming weeks and months, we'll have a few hikes in. We're going to have some new content as well. Hey, it's the winter time here. Super tough to hike, like I said. So we're going to have some gear reviews. We're going to have some taste tests when it comes to camping food. Just a lot of fun stuff with some of the characters you've seen in prior videos and also some new faces that have been just a little too shy to get on camera yet. In any event, I hope you enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas, and as always, live lifelong loose and full of juice.